Hello everyone. Today we will study the current component of a semiconductor device. Basically, there are two current component in a semiconductor device. Number one is drift current and number two is diffusion current. Now, by uh, using these two component that is drift and diffusion, all the charge carrier to participate in conduction. Now, first one we will explain uh, that is the drift current. Now, what is drift current? Drift current occurs due to the potential, uh, po polarity of the potential or the voltage given. Suppose we are giving the voltage over there and by this, suppose this is the plate, all the positive charge will be accumulated for this positive polarity and for this negative charge will be gathered over there. So, if a charge carrier, suppose an electron, a free electron is there, this electron cannot flow in this direction. This electron should flow in this direction, right. So, this is due to the polarity of the external charge, external potential. So, this is uh, the current component which is called the drift current component. This happens due to the polarity of the external uh, potential and this drift current of electron is uh, written given by the equation that is n q mu n multiplied by E. Now, where this n is equals to the density q is the charge and mu is the mobility of the electron E is the electric field. Now, uh, in case of in case of if we give the positive charge over there then you know what the current this charge positive charge free charge cannot move in this direction but it can flow in this direction. So, this is depending upon the external uh, external potential by which the charge carrier will move and this type of current is called drift current and the drift current density J drift in that is the H that is for hole and that is for electron which is equals to P Q mu P into E where P is the density of this uh, hole, Q is the charge, mu P is the mobility of holes and E is the uh, electric field across this device. So, this is for drift current. Next one is diffusion current. Diffusion current occurs because of the uh, concentration variation. Suppose in a semiconductor device are there and uh, there will be some electron and holes are there, but the concentration is not same throughout this device. The concentration of hole is uh, higher in this region rather than this region and in case of electron also, the concentration of electron is higher in this region and it is very less in this direction, in, the, in this region, particular region. So, this diffusion current flows only because of the concentration gradient. If there is a concentration variation of holes and electrons throughout the device, then only this current flows. And this diffusion current of electron or hole, any diffusion current is proportional to the concentration gradient. So, this is proportional to d and dx. Suppose we are calling this direction in x. Throughout this device, if there is any gradient, any variation, then only this diffusion current will flow. So, J diffusion is proportional to D and Dx in case of electron and J uh, diffusion uh, concentration uh, de density of hole is proportional to dp dx. Now, which is equals to minus Q because the charge of the electron is minus D is a diffusion constant and this is minus D index because the magnitude value is negative because it is flowing from higher concentration to lower concentration. So, finally, we will get the expression that is uh, a diffusion constant with that charge and the concentration gradient. If somehow the concentration throughout this device is same that is the hole concentration and electron concentration throughout device is same that is dn dx is d same is equals to 0 then you will not get any diffusion current from the semiconductor device. So, in case of hole also this uh, current density of hole due to diffusion which is proportional to dp dx and for that Q is for, for charge it is positive, for hole it is positive, charge is positive, dp is the concentration constant, um, uh, diffusion constant, constant, uh, constant and minus dp dx is the 
gradient and I told you the value is magnitude value is negative. So, finally, we will get minus q dp in, into dp dx. So, this is all about drift current and diffusion current and uh, for a semiconductor device all the charge carrier participate either in drift or diffusion and by which we will get the current. Thank you.